I'm really self-conscious in my butt, so I don't like people to see me from behind anyways, so why encourage it with curling my hair good back there? Okay, hey guys. I thought it would be kind of fun to just show you my morning beauty routine, if you can even call it that. So today I'm getting like actually ready. This is about as ready as I get uh, on a normal day. A normal day, this would be me ready, but um, I'm getting a little bit fancier today, so so why not start to finish, right? Brush my teeth. I wash my face. I use oh, gotta get in the shot here. Wash my face. I use the Rodan and Fields Reverse Line, so that's what I do next. <clears throat> so first you wash, then I'm going to tone, then I'm going to roll. I usually roll at night, but I forgot to roll last night, so I'm going to roll this morning. Um, and then I put my medicated treatment on and my sunscreen. So that's what I'm going to do next. This is fun, right? Sure that you're using gauze not cotton if you use cotton with your any form of toner product it'll absorb like all of your product and you'll run out really fast and waste a lot so this is um, if you don't know what this is it's a micro needling device so there's a million not a million <laughs> there's little um, acupuncture needles on there so when you use it on your skin in three different directions it stimulates collagen production to tighten and firm skin, erase wrinkles, and prevent more wrinkles. And it also allows whatever product you're using to go deeper in your skin, which is really nice. So now I'm doing a, it's a vitamin C and a retinol combination. So it helps with lightening, brightening, evening skin tone, erasing dark spots, and sun damage, and then. The retinol is just kind of the gold standard in anti-aging. And then sunscreen. Ta -da. So then I usually let that, um, kind of let my skin absorb all of that while I do my hair. So, this is what I'm starting with here. I like to use a wet brush even when my hair is dry because it's just gentle on those tangles and I have very chemically processed bleached hair so you just don't want to be rough on those ends that are already fragile. If I'm going to wash my hair I always do it at night just because I'm lazy and I don't like the heat from the blow dryer so um, even if I work out and I shower in the morning I don't wash my hair. So I just take my hair in sections, it's nothing crazy. I use a one inch old school, well mine's the professional kind that has no spray, let's see. But um, one inch old school curling iron, no wand or anything fancy. Take a section of hair, I like to curl it away from my face. Which I've done this on here before, but I didn't really like to tell you what I was doing. So once it's all the way in, you're gonna unloop one and then pull straight down. Ta-da! And you're just going to, I take pretty big sections on the bottom. So you really just need to get the texture in there. So you go all the way in. Hold it there for just a sec. Unloop the very first and then pull it straight down. Pulling it straight down is going to give you kind of that longer, looser curl instead of like the ringlet. My good friend Stacy taught me this and I loved it. And um, I think it's faster and easier than using a wand. So in, undo one of the loops, pull straight down. It also kind of gives you those straighter ends. And then I let them sit tight until the very end just so that they retain more of that curl. So away from my face, 
And a lot of people say to leave your ends out, but when your ends are frizzy and crazy like mine, I like it all heat treated. So, so I don't like to leave my ends out. So this is a nice way to get those like straight ends like I want without just leaving them out because, or if you have any natural curl, I now have like natural curl in my hair, which I never had before I had kids, but a new one. This curling technique works really well on all lengths of hair. I did it on a client last week with super long hair and it looked really pretty and then I've also done it on like a short bob and it really gives you kind of that like messy curl look. So I just do three sections. So. <laughs> heat protectant. If you use a professional brand of shampoo and conditioner, that's going to have heat protectant in it. Um, but if not, you're going to want to buy like a separate heat, heat protectant because they get really hot, but the heat makes it faster, way faster to do your hair, but it also helps stubborn hair hold that curl. So you want high heat. brush it but so then when they're all kind of loose I like to use dry shampoo I use Redkins pillow proof um, even if your hair is not dirty because it gives your hair a little bit of grit and grip and texture and I have really fine hair and so I kind of like that extra texture so then they just kind of open up nicely like that favorite hairspray if you're wanting a stronger hold is Control Addict from Redken. This is amazing because if you have a lot of flyaways and your hair is slicked back, I talked about this on Snapchat, um, it will hold your flyaways and your baby hairs all day, but it, um, it's also good for just kind of holding that curl in there. So, ta-da, that's my hair. Um, and then on the days that I want to be really fancy like today, so I have eyelash extensions and my eyebrows are microbladed and I use high-end skin products. So I always say I've gotta be a little bit high maintenance to be low maintenance. So yes, I spend money on my skincare and I do get eyelash extensions and my eyebrows microbladed, which seems high maintenance, but then it makes it so I'm like on a daily basis. Like I told you guys, when I started this video, that was my normal, like I'm ready for the day. I just wake up and go with my face, um, which is really nice. So I, I kind of do a lot, but then it makes my day to day so that I'm virtually like zero maintenance which is really nice. So anyways, on the days that I want to feel really fancy, 
I will um, use a bit of mineral powder. So these, this is the Rodan and Fields um, mineral powder. So I got my little brush. And I don't do this every day. It also has SPF in it, so if I'm gonna be in the sun more, then I'll use it so it just kind of comes out in that little, little bit right there. And I'll just lightly put some. All over, just like that. And then I will obviously do lipstick, but I'm not gonna do lipstick right now because I'm not walking at the door yet, so, and I didn't bring it back here with me. Anyway, so that is my routine. Oh, and I use my high-end Bath & Body Works body spray. So that, you know, I actually like, <laughs> I like nice perfume, but it's pricey and I get it for Christmas sometimes, but we're almost at Christmas again, so that means I'm definitely out. So, Bath & Body Works for the win. Um, anyway, that's what I do. And, eh, eh, eh. The most makeup I ever wear is lipstick and this mineral peptide powder. Um, this is actually cool. It controls like the free radicals in the air to protect your skin against the elements and the pollution. And it has SPF. And it just kind of like gives you a nice even. So anyway, that's how I get ready. Now you know. Please subscribe, like, comment, and thank you.